So if you're cross-country planning, before you even leave, probably going to be consulting the cruise performance charts. This case for the Cessna 172, we're looking at around 4,000 foot pressure altitude. And we would like to get, for an average power setting of possibly 2,300 to 2,400 RPM, standard temperature. We're going to start using those numbers, true airspeed about between 102 and 109 uh, knots, um, true airspeed, uh, with the resulting fuel flow of around 7.7 .7 to 8.5 gallons per hour. We read a note in the cruise performance table that this is all based on a recommended lean mixture, and we're being asked to refer to section 4, the cruise section. Once we go there, we find out that um, as long as we're getting 75% power or more, we really should be flying our airplane uh, with a rich mixture. And below 75% power in level cruise flight, the exhaust gas temperature indicator is used to get the recommended uh, lean mixture. It's going to be important because there's a couple of terms that, that might come up. One of them is best economy, and the other one is uh, best power. Uh, in Cessna speak, that's going to be called recommended lean instead of best power. That's the way they put that, and this is at the end of this chapter here. Basically, you just say that the recommended lean mixture provides the best level cruise performance, generally close to the best power or maximum RPM, whereas... Um, operation at peak EGT provides the best fuel economy. So they have your difference in as much as that the uh, peak exhaust gas temperature results in 4% greater range and about a 3 knot decrease in airspeed. So really tasked to cooperating below 75% power, which is mostly the case when we're 4,000 feet and above. And so then we're tasked to operate the aircraft at recommended lean, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit rich of peak exhaust gas temperature. There's a whole write-up on how you're really supposed to do this, and it's really something that uh, you need to practice um, and, uh, and do this in your aircraft in flight. You visit the cruise table. We're finding now recommended lean. Now, now that we finally know what this means, they didn't bother to put that there, but, uh, but that is what they mean. Um, uh, so uh, uh, the 50-degree uh, the uh, exhaust gas temperature adjustment needs to be made. And now we can pick these numbers. Let's say we're, we've planned on these numbers and we're in flight and we're setting the power uh, somewhere around 2300, 2350, and we're starting to lean and we're sort of le leaning out uh, to peak EGT and then uh, enriching the mixture by about uh, two divisions. There's a cu couple of the lines on the exhaust gas temperature gauge, uh, each at 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you, so you're basically enriching or dropping the exhaust gas temperature by about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And, uh, and you should be achieving, given standard temperature and giving your pressure altitude 4,000, you should be achieving somewhere around 102 to 109 uh, not true airspeed, and, and there's your fuel flow. Now, your fuel flow gauge in the Cessna 172, the analog gauge, is not really all that super accurate. They chose a, a rather odd spacing, a rather odd scale uh, for, for this unit. And, um, but you can, you know, roughly see, you know, what, what 8 gallons per hour looks like, and, and, and so that, that will probably work out just fine for you. So... Uh, so become familiar with how these numbers came, came about and become familiar with trying to achieve these numbers and trying to uh, uh, lean the engine out correctly. Um, so there is uh, the, the two ways that we've discussed is the best economy, which is uh, uh, achieved at simply peak exhaust gas temperature and the recommended lean, where you actually enrich the mixture to get uh, 50 degrees rich of peak exhaust gas temperature.